I feel like an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Feeling like an idiot in general. I'm about to be 31 years old, and I've just now realized something I've been living with my entire life. Hey, you're an idiot. This guy, my internal critic. Yeah, I knew he was there, but I never realized how many times a day he's putting me down and what kind of impact that's having on my life. Turns out a lot of other people are living with their own internal critics. So I reached out to a clinical psychologist to figure out what I could do about this. And she gave me some incredible advice that I'm gonna share with you right now. That we have maybe between 12,000 and 80,000 thoughts per day. This is Dr. Soph, a clinical psychologist who's committed herself to taking therapy out of the office and into the world. And that to survive as a species, we've always had to be incredibly negatively skewed. So looking for danger all the time, which means we have about an 80% negativity bias and we have all of those thoughts. Most of us live in a really negative world where we believe everything that's coming up. Dr. Soph thinks that our negativity bias is one of the things that's making us unhappy that we can turn around the fastest. This is what this week's challenge is all about. And so my challenge to you is to sing your negative thoughts to the tune of any song that you like. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't sing. <laughs> well, you're going to. And it's funny because this isn't something I would normally do with someone until we had a really strong therapeutic relationship. But you've asked for a challenge. So do you do you accept? <laughs> I, I, I accept. accept. We have to. I accept. I accept. <laughs> Day one of the Sing your bad feelings out challenge. <sighs> I'm having thought that I'm an idiot. I feel like an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Procrastinating all morning. I did not get nearly as much done today as I wanted to. I'm just feeling a little, a little sloppy. Stressful morning, which means uh, I'm taking it all out on myself. Just did this whole thing about me being a failure. Then I realized I didn't plug the mic in. I just recorded this and there was no sound because the microphone was turned off. In psychology, there's a term called cognitive fusion. So this is the idea that you have a thought and because you've had a thought, it must be true. Without us even realizing it, we're thinking negative thoughts about ourselves all day long and believing them. We know that language is fallible. We know that our thoughts are often based on fears. And we know that what we need to do is just create a momentary piece of distance, a split second where you and your thoughts separate just a little bit. So you can observe them. We're not trying to change them. We're not trying to fight them. We're just changing our relationship to them. And this is why we're singing. I notice I feel stupid. I notice I feel stupid. I'm noticing the thought that I am lazy and unproductive and I am I didn't get enough done. I didn't get enough done. I noticed that I'm frustrated that I didn't get enough done. I said, ooh, Alex, burn, burn. I'm noticing the thought that I'm a jerk, burn. Burn. I am noticing I feel like an asshole cause I'm running a bit behind. Imagine if I didn't do dumb things, I wouldn't have to sing this song. As silly and ridiculous as I felt singing these songs, my relationship to these negative thoughts changed really fast. In the cracks that Dr. Soph was talking about, I had a chance to analyze my thoughts. And when I did, I realized maybe they're not true. Maybe I'm not an idiot. Maybe I'm not lazy. Maybe I just made a mistake. Maybe I was just being unproductive. I went from feeling like there's something wrong with me to feeling like I'm a human who makes mistakes sometimes. And this also means that I can actually change myself and be who I want to be. This gives me a ton of hope. All right, that was easy. I like that. Well, I think I just made very clear. It helped me at least get my thoughts out there. I'm hearing them. It seems like now I have a solution. Now I'm mad, and that's okay, because I will still go get it done. These make me feel better because it makes it seem like there's possibility for change, as opposed to it being part of who I am. I, I feel better. I feel better already. Woo! 
Wow, I feel better. <laughs> I feel better. Hey, Dr. Hey, Soph. Dr. Soph, how are you? <laughs> really excited to hear uh, how it went. Pushing past the embarrassment of it, like the, how quickly it kind of changed things was amazing. I think this is a really hard thing to do, but it's a really wonderful thing to do because emotions are a universal experience. Everyone in the world has them. But certainly for people raised in the UK and in the US, there's this really common theme that we shouldn't feel. That if you feel anything other than happiness, you should push it away. And this skill gives you something tangible that you can use when you start to feel negative, the beginning of feeling overwhelmed. It makes you realize, oh, everyone feels like this. Oh, maybe my emotions are fine. Oh, maybe any of these thoughts I have, no matter how terrifying they are, can be dealt with and managed. And maybe I'm just deeply human and it's totally okay to feel and think you're an idiot from time to time. So that was a pretty weird, but pretty fun and valuable week. It felt very strange walking around New York City singing to myself, but also, I guess that's not that weird in New York City. <laughs> I imagine if I don't keep this up, I'll probably quickly go back to being a real jerk to myself, so I'm actually gonna try and keep it going. So now it's time to go out in your mind. Give it a shot. You can even upload a video of yourself doing it to the comments in this video. We'd love to see it. You might feel a little bit uncomfortable, and that's totally okay, but you will fall in love with what you get from this. I'm Dr. Soap. Rally on. Rally on. Rally on.